In this section, I'm going to teach you how to use indicators and how to define them. We learn how to define the RSI and moving average indicator, and then you see that you can uh, use other indicators based on these two indicators and uh, using uh, the help of MetaTrader and the Meta uh, MQL references website. So uh, remember that almost always the indicators return a real value. So first we define, for example, for moving average, we define a double variable named moving average and it is equal to, then we define the moving average. The moving average will be defined like that, I moving average. As you can see, the color changed to, to uh, green. It means it is a predefined function. So first I double click on I moving average and press F1 to see the help and learn how to param parameterize the moving average indicator. This is the help of moving average. It calculates the moving average indicator and returns its value. It has several parameters. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The first one is symbol. You must define which symbol do you want to use. You want to find moving average of which symbol. So the first section is symbol. We can use, for example, we don't know. We can use null and then column. Null means I don't know which share or pair I'm going to use. When you use null, null automatically Meta Editor use the pair or share that you are running this script or this expert advisor on it. If I drag and drop expert advisor on, for example, Euro UST, here would be Euro UST, the string of Euro UST. In instead of null, we can use this predefined function symbol with two parentheses. Uh, symbol as you can see the color is changed because it's a predefined function too but remember that we must use these two parentheses for predefined functions it's exactly mean the null because this symbol is a predefined function as and it's and it returns uh, the name of shade or pair that this scripts is drag and drop into it if i drag and drop it here it would return symbol return your UST. if i drag and drop it on for example Nasdaq, it would return the name of Nasdaq in a string form. Or we can directly use the string form, for example, like this, uh, USD. Or, for example, Bitcoin. Here, BTC USD. BTC. So we can define these sections with this three way. I usually use symbol. And then column. And then the next section is time frame. Which time frame do you want to use? You want to find the moving average in which time frame? Uh, I open the help window. Here the time frame. How we can define the time frame? It, this this section is about the symbol, the time frame here, E9 time frame. If I click on it, I can open it. We can if I write zero, it means current time frame. If I write one, it means M1, one minute time frame, and so on. But instead of using this number because I want to, I want it to be very uh, sensible, and I fi find out what have I done. For example. Uh, three or six months later, after I, I write the code, uh, I use the name of them. If I use this name, period, underline current, it means the current time frame, the time frame that you drag and drop the expert advisor in the window. Or, for example, you can choose, for example, period H1. It means uh, find, out, find and return the value of moving average in one hour time frame. But here I want to use period current so here I write period current column now it is period here it's period and it is written integer we, we, we should enter an integer value here and this period is a hint for us uh, we should use 
period. You want to find the moving average, for example, for the 14, uh, for the 14 15 candles before. I use, for example, 40, 14. It means go and find out the moving average of the last 14 candles. Shift, I use zero. Method, if I open the help window again, in the method sections here, it can be any of in a moving average method enumeration values. If I click on it, it says that if you use zero here, it means moving average, simple moving average. Uh, if I enter one, it means moving mode EMA. Here is exponential average simple averaging if you are familiar with the uh, moving average indicator then you know we have this adjustment uh, when we configure our moving average indicator so if i close it here i use mode and if i write three word it would it will give us the suggestion and we can choose for example here sma means simple moving average then the next one is enum applied price enum applied price you want to apply price for example here if i click on it if i put zero it means price of the close averaging for the close of every candles if i use one here it means price of open we usually use the price of close the close price for uh, calculating the moving average and rsi or um, basically any other indicators so I use price close and the last one is shift the last but not least shift means start counting for example here is here we have 14 it means averaging 14 candle before calculating moving average for 14 for 14 candles but here if it is zero it means start counting from the first candle start counting from here count 14 candles and then find out the moving average but if i here put one it means start counting from here go back for 14 candles uh, if i insert moving average here moving average and it is for example 14 okay and data windows here move this moving average is 41 uh, 41236 for the second candle it is 41 41272 it means that if i use zero in the last section it means moving average for this candle but if i use one it means the moving average for the second candle and so on so the shift is like that and we can have an alert to show it the moving two and here plus this moving average variable we, that we which we defined and i compile it and we check the result you can you can check uh, the alert with the number that we have here remember that here is one so it shows us this moving average not this moving average the, the moving average corresponding with the second candle so I drag and drop our script. It says that moving average is equal to this number, 41,272. I can round it. How? We have another function named normalize double because we don't have we don't want to have the, the, all of these points, so uh, to avoiding that, 
I use this line of code like this. First, I define, I want to, I want to round this value. I use normalized double. If I write three word of it, it would give me the suggestion and I can use normalized double and normalized double is defined like that. First, the value that we want to uh, round, it is moving average. I write it here. And the next one is digit, digits, and it is integer here. The, it was uh, see that it, it is very important to attention to what is written here. Here is written, for example, for the first section is it is written value and the type is double. Here it is digits and the type is integer. So you can't use, for example, four point zero here. It is wrong. We must use an integer value and it is four. But I want to see, for example. Uh, two number after the point so I use two here and I want to put the value calculated here again in the moving average because I want to show it so I use this method first it round the moving average here and then it put the value calculated here again in the moving average and then it shows this shows it here I compile it and again drag and drop it here now we have only two number after the point and as you can see here 41 to 41,272 so this is how we define a moving average indicator for RSA moving average we have the same method let me deactivated this line now again I define a variable name double it is its name is RSI indicator and it is equal to IRSI as you can see immediately after I write IRSRS it suggests me IRSI remember I here is not capital and then parenthesis. The first section is symbol. Its name is symbol, and it is a string. It is a string, exactly like moving average. I use symbol here. Then int time frame. What time frame do you want? If I double click on IRSI or basically double click on any predefined function and pressing F1, you can see the help and they are very useful. You must learn how to use the help because everything can be found on the help of uh, MQL and its references are very complete. So the second one is time frame. If I click on it again, exactly the same with the moving average, it says that you can use the number or you can use uh, what we have in the id sections the name i use the name because i want to see it i find it very uh, efficient and useful to see the name instead of seeing a number then the next one is period and the type is integer you want to R find rsi for how many candles i want to find it for example 20 candles and rsi for 20 candles and then in our applied price again exactly the same with the moving average i want to apply rsi for the close and then the last and not least is shift from which candle do you want to start counting 21 candle i want to start counting from the first one so, and I can use, I deactivate this line and I uh, use it again because I want to normalize it. I will use this predefined function named normalize double. Now I use RSI indicator here and I want to, uh, I don't want to have any number after the point and close it with semicolon. Now, I write here the RSI is equal 
all two and here instead of this variable i copy and paste rsi indicator here because i want to see the value of this indicator i compile it i open for example here I have, an, I have an indicator, RSI indicator, I change its parameter because the, at the moment it is, the period is f uh, 14, I want to, it to be 21. And click OK. Uh, if I drag and drop it here. So, it is written that the RSI is equal to 31. The RSI for first candle is 31 but it is changing because the uh, the market is open so i use for example two calculate the rsi for third candle again i can i drag and drop it here it is written 25 this is the first one second one and third one it is 24.73 and it is rounded to 25 if i use normalize dou double here two i can see the exact number 24.73 and you can see it exactly in the data window now how many different indicators we can use in MQL and MetaTrader. You can simply search MQL for indicators in the Google and then go to the documents of the MQL4 and click on it. And here in MQL4 references, technical indicators, you can see that we have too many indicators and we can use all of them. They are basically very the same. Uh, using them are very the same with the with these two indicators that I mentioned, but you can read them. You must read them. You must read how to use the help, how to use the reference of MQLs. For example, here, MACD, if I click on it, again, we have the same thing. The first section is the symbol, then time frame. Then here, we must enter a number. It is integer and it indicate fast moving average period and so on so remember to read all of them you can by reading them learn how to use them uh, in this video we don't have enough time to cover all of them but they, they mostly are the same